Once your walls are currently crashing, freezing, or just simply stop working mid-game, you know, super annoying stuff, guys. Well, I'm going to show you the best methods, how you can actually counter that, and how you can fix your walls on 2.0 from crashing. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, and now let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and for the first method, what I want to show you is how you can clean your shader cache, because this is the reason why for a lot of people, actually games are crashing currently on their PC. Shader cache is something like temporary data created by your graphics card in order to speed up processes, games, basically like performance processes on your PC, what you want to do is go into a Windows search bar, type in clean until you can find disk cleaner. And once we're now here in this window, you can already see that we have a ton of temporary data, but what we're looking for is DirectX shader cache. And you can already see here, clean up files created by the graphics system, which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. And for a ton of people who maybe already played Modern Warfare 2 previously, they might have some interrupted files on their PC, which you need to clean up. So therefore select it, click onto OK, delete files, and you can already see it gets deleted. And then afterwards you have fresh shader cache on your PC. By the way, I also have a very simple step how you can make this like automatic on your PC after 5 gigs, which I discuss in my latest NVIDIA control panel video just from today. So therefore, make sure to check it out if you want to optimize your PC for the best performance in gaming. In this next step, guys, now we're gonna take a look at the MSI Afterburner and we're trying to go for one very specific setting which is available in this tool. So therefore, the link is in the description. Probably most of you already have it on the PC. And what you want to do is in the first place launch the program. Once it's launched guys you can see all the settings of your GPU, you basically have your memory clock, your core clock, basically everything here in terms of like power limit, fan speed, everything. But yeah guys I'm going to tell you straight up for a ton of people having an OC setting right now applied to your GPU can cause a ton of problems in Warzone 2.0 and the same way by the way in MW2. So therefore since these games are super similar you can basically apply everything for both of them, they're running on the same engine. And yeah what you definitely want to make sure guys is reset everything. I know it sounds horrible because you probably went for hours you know trying to find the best OC settings for your GPU whatever but what you want to do is make sure to reset everything and the only option which I can recommend you or better said like approve changing on here is the power limit to make sure that you can get the highest possible GPU utilization this one you can save and apply but for the rest make sure to set everything on normal Rosalind is right now in a very unstable state so therefore make sure that everything is set to stock then we already done here with this step for a ton of people this already fixed it and I hope that this helped. For this next step, guys, now we're going to take a look at the best game ready driver for NVIDIA users as of right now, guys, which is driver version 526.86. And it's already been tested to be the most stable one for Warzone. By the way, guys, you can just simply download this one here from the website, uninstall your current one and replace it with this. You actually have to go for a very specific method, which I explained in a video right now here on screen, which I'm going to link as well. It's going to be in the info icon. Just simply make sure to check it out where I explain you exactly how you can basically replace drivers the safest way to really not cause any issues but definitely guys this one is the best one it's also supported by basically any gpu out there on the market if you're playing with anything lower than a 700 series you're anyways gonna have issues with the game you know what i'm saying but yeah basically everything which is kind of mainstream right now like 16 20 30 or 40 series they're all supported by this so therefore guys you're already chilling and yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to it as well in the description. By the way, also feel free to join the Discord. Yeah, over 82,000 active members. If you have any more questions, always feel free to join there and ask. Now for this next step, guys, what are we going to do is delete all the temporary data on our PC, which might be interrupted, causing us issues and games to crash. So therefore, what I want you to do is go into Windows Search Bar, type in percenter, temp percenter, and open it up, guys. Once we get here now, this window here, you can see we have a ton of temporary data. I just built this PC today, so of course I'm not gonna have as much, but there's literally people out there with like 10 or 20 gigs of temporary data, just simply slowing down your PC, causing issues with applications or games. So what you want to do is select all of them here and you can straight up delete them, guys. You don't need temporary data on your PC. They're just like small saves of Windows, basically, which won't interrupt anything. They're not going to cause any damage to your PC whatsoever. And just simply make sure to delete as much as possible and delete them like once in a while. I would say like once a month at least, guys, and then you're already chilling with this step as well. And for this final step, guys, I can only recommend you to check out the video right now here on screen where I show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming in 2022. And with that said, have a great one. Bye.